lesson, we will create a bonus class. This is a game coin. Now our task is to describe the class, then to add it to the game panel, and to create a method that handles the collision with the spaceship. First, we create a variable in our game panel and call it a bonus. Then, this variable will be called coin. Next, we create a bonus class and click on OK. And then we create the constructor and initialize the bonus variable. Also, we will pass drawable and X and Y parameters to our coin. We set the initial value of minus 200 and minus 200. Also, we draw it behind the visibility of the screen area. Then we create the constructor. It is all done. We've created it. Now we create the bonus class. This class will include the following variables, such as bitmap, and X and Y coordinates. In addition, we will pass the Barrier Manager. We will do this in order to know where the corridor is now, and in what coordinates we can generate the coin, so that the player is able to pick it up. Let's fill the variables with the coordinates and y. Next, we'll create a set barrier manager method where we indicate the barrier manager. So we can always turn to the Barrier Manager, we create the bitmap method. It is familiar to us. Then we copy a method from the barrier. This method returns to us the array that contains all the points. We will need that to find the collision points. Next, we implement two methods, such as draw and update. We pass the dt value to the parameters. Everything is simple in drawing, 
We just draw in the center, as we did with the barrier class and the ship class. Here will be our update. If X went in minus for a quarter of width size, it is minus a quarter of our screen. Then X is assigned the width value of the game panel, and plus the bitmap width. Then the position is taken from the Barrier Manager randomly. Here is the Barrier Manager, and the last thing we need now is to change the variable to values. Once again, we take the Game Panel from the Barrier Manager, and here we take our Ship Speed, and multiply by dt. We need to make some changes, as in the game panel were not saved the width and height values, so we save them now. Then we set a type for them. We do the same thing with the height. Now we do some correction, we take the screen width instead of git screen. We remove the brackets, as it is not a method and it is a variable. And we do the same thing here. After we are done with this, we have to set the Barrier Manager for the coin class and locate it at Draw and Update methods in the game panel. So, let's do it! Here, we add a set barrier manager. Okay, we did it. Next, we add the coin to the drawing. Then in update is a condition. If the ship did not crash, 
we do update. We do the same thing with DT, and now we're done. Now we run it on the device. Here are the coins. Now we do the collision handling with the coin. Next, we create a new array list. Also, a point is going to be called coin underscore point equals new array, and our method get array. Now, according to the condition, if the ship crashed into the coin, then we give a player the certain amount of points. At the moment, we will hide the coin behind the screen. Namely, we do this by setting the coin value x value minus 200. It was initially, and we just hide it behind the screen, and also set y minus 200. Let's create these methods. This dot x equals new x value. Likewise, we do the second method. This dot y equals new y value. Now, using the same principle, we have to pick up the coin. Now, when we get the coin, it should disappear, and the coin disappears. If we did not handle the coin pickup, we would not be able to get it. As we noticed, the spaceship explodes without the animation. Most likely this happens because we have not downloaded an animation array which provides the ship class. As we did not use the set boom animation, 
it is natural that there was not any animation. The ship had a set boom animation, and here we need to specify the animation as an array. So we create a new array of bitmaps. It will be a new array, and we add in it from a folder of resources, Boom 1, Boom 2, etc. They should be added in the order in which they will be played. Now we set set boom animation. Let's see how it works. We start the game, start playing, and we will collide purposefully. We see that the development environment generated an error, and the error is in our array size. Yep, we came out of the array size. No worries though, this is handled pretty easily. Now we have the original size of the array in a variable, and the animation is being played to the end, so we will not fly from the application. The application is being installed, then we start the game and see. Indeed, the application runs perfectly. In this lesson, we created the coin class and learned how to handle the ship's collision with the coin. In the next lesson, we will create a win and loss menu, and will learn how to handle the events, such as calling to the root game activity from the thread, and we do this through the handler. Also, we will add music and complete our application. We're getting close to the end now, so keep your eyes focused.